I wonder who she is. This is not what I'm looking for. This is her, the woman from that picture. Let's see. I remember a little about this case. Davies and Sully handled it. Hmm. And she was buried at Mount Auburn Cemetery. Same as Scott. I don't need to request any evidence right now. No known current address. I should see if I can speak to this guy. I don't need to re was a total ass to him earlier. I don't feel right about using him like this. I wonder if I can find Sarah's grave here. Sarah Goodman, here you are. I'm not too sure what I'm expecting to find here. What is this? Could this have belonged to Sarah? <gasps> oh God, she was murdered. Poor woman. Sarah Goodman. I better leave her be. This clearly belonged to Sarah. 
Did Robert leave it at her grave? This is not going to work with this. McCoy? Red? I found something really interesting. Yeah? Whoever did this left clues behind that are pointing to another old case. Go on. Well, here's the thing. This other case? It was a hanging too, but it was closed as a suicide. Apparently the husband insisted it was a murder. What do you think? I need a favor from you. I sort of screwed up with Sully this morning. Again? Don't patronize me, John. This was his case, and I need you to ask him about it. Please. All right. Wait here. OK, I talked to the kid. Here's the rundown. It was his first case. He took it with Davies. Did he say why the FBI took the case? The detective in charge ruled it out as a suicide, but Goodman didn't believe that. The guy had friends in the right places, so it quickly got assigned to the FBI. What was the outcome of that? He said Davies concluded there wasn't much of a case. The victim was on antidepressants, didn't cope well with a recent move to the city from out of state. Everything pointed to suicide. Did they clear the husband? Yeah, guy was abroad on a business trip. Sully was convinced it couldn't have been him. And here's the kick. The guy became fixated on this thing. He quit his job, spent whatever little fortune he had trying to prove his wife didn't commit suicide. I kept begging Sully to look into the case. I remember a bit of that. Yeah, I remember that too. Did the guy find anything sustainable? Old ramblings of a lost man. Nothing that Davies considered good enough to look into. Any ideas where I can find Robert Goodman? Check with the cops. You'll find what you need. The cops? Trust me, kiddo. I'm going to go back to my work. Go get him, Red. All right. Let's call my buddy Miller at the police station and see what I can find on this Robert Goodman. Boston Police Department, Officer Duffer speaking. Duffer? Where's Miller? Officer Colin Miller? Oh, uh, he got transferred, ma'am. Oh, I didn't know. You are the same Duffer I talked to last night. Uh, this is Special Agent Erica Reed. Agent Reed? What a surprise. Um, how can I help you? I was hoping you could send me some information on a Goodman. Robert Goodman. He was tied to a suicide case a couple of years ago. That made my search easy. Uh, we got a couple of arrests on him. Minor disturbances, drunk and disorderly mostly. Do you have a current address? Uh, can you forward that exact location to my cell phone? Pin number is 1129. You got it. Thank you very much. You've been very helpful. Hm. That was fast.
Hello. I- I'm looking for Robert Goodman. Do you know where I can find him? Who's looking for him? I'm Special Agent Erica Reed, FBI. Can you point me to Robert Goodman? That would be me, Agent. What do you want? You were married to Sarah Goodman, is that correct? What about Sarah? I'm conducting an investigation on her death, and I'd like to ask you a few questions. I was wondering if you can come with me to the station. I'm sorry, but that's a part of my past I'd rather not relive. It would really help if you came to the office with me. No can do. I am fine where I am right now. How could I convince him? I'd rather be in a more secure place before showing him that. Is this Sarah? Oh, Sarah. Yes, this is her. I don't remember when we took this picture. Mr. Goodman, I know this is difficult for you. I've read your file. I know what happened. There's new information on this case. I believe we may be dealing with a killer. There are others out there whose lives could depend on your help. Will you please come with me? I'll come with you, Agent Reed, but I'm not sure I can be of any help. Okay, Robert is in the interrogation room. I need to tell John. McCoy? Red? I've brought Robert Goodman with me. He's the husband of that other victim I told you about. Good. Do you want a good cop, bad cop him? No. Let me handle this one. All right. Let's go. I'll watch from outside. I heard you have Robert Goodman here. Yeah. You know, Erica, let the kid handle it with you. This was his case, after all. Plus, Sully can do some good grilling. So you're determined to keep your lazy ass attached to your desk for the whole day? Nah, I think you should go, McCoy. This is your case now. So who do you want, Erica? Let's go, John. I want to do this on my own. Go ahead, Red. I need to get into the room. <laughs> All right, Mr. Goodman? I'm only here because of what you showed me. I know. And I wouldn't have brought you here if this wasn't important. Oh, I'm not talking. I'm not comfortable. How can I make you feel better? I'm a little hungry. I don't have a reason to do that now. That won't work there. Robert, please stay here. I have to get something done. Don't take long. John, I need to take care of something. Keep an eye on the guy. He won't be going nowhere.
I need some money for I need some money for Ah, oh, great. <laughs> Works every time. I need to get close. something sweet. Thank you. So will you help me now, Mr. Goodman? Call me Robert. Thank you. Your wife, Sarah. Beautiful woman. Very kind. She didn't deserve what happened to her. You don't believe she committed suicide? I didn't believe it was possible at the time. There's new information, and... I've spent a long time trying to convince you people she hadn't killed herself. But that was such a long time ago. Sir, I'm a firm believer that it's never too late for justice. We may have made a terrible mistake. Yeah, tell that to Agent Davies and Agent McAdams. Are they listening? Agent, those still are very painful memories to me. I'll help you. But I don't see the point in all of this anymore. Sarah is gone, and that's something that will never change. Did you or your wife have any enemies? Anyone who might have wanted to kill her? You already have all that information in your case files. Do you have any new information or not? I don't have a reason to do that now. This is not going to work with this. This is not going to work with this. This is not going to work with this. Do you know this man? Oh, that's horrible. Why are you showing this to me? Trust me, I wouldn't show you if I didn't need to. We found him dead last night. Wait, that's... I do know that man. Do you know his name? Yes, of course. He... Uh, I don't... I don't remember. Anything that you can help with, where do you know him from? Anything? I'm sorry, Agent. I just... I don't remember. That won't work there. This necklace. My lord. I haven't seen that thing in ages. It belonged to my wife. May I? It was an anniversary gift. Where did you find it? I visited her grave. I used to do that, religiously, day after day, and until I just stopped. It's a thing of beauty, just like she was.
This is not going to work with this. That won't work there. Robert, please, try to remember. I'm sorry, Agent. I just... I don't remember. Robert, I need you to think back and look for the name of this man in the picture. I'm trying. I'm remembering the last time I met with my wife. He came up in that conversation. I just can't remember well. The details are... Robert, please try to think back to that moment. Have you ever lost someone you love, Agent? Do you want to hold on to the memories for as long as you can? but they dissipate through the years. And then all you're left with are the fragments, small moments. I've tried for too long to hold on to a ghost, and it didn't get me anywhere. Now I don't want to remember. Robert, I know exactly what it is to lose someone you love. I lost my brother to a murderer, and I know what it is to chase ghosts too. But there is a real chance here that if you're right, if your wife was indeed murdered, we may find this person. So please, help us. It was the last time we met. We were at a train station. I was about to leave on a business trip again. Sarah was sad. She didn't want me to go. She hated this town. I can't make anything out of this. My visions are too confused. Maybe I should pay Rose a visit. No, that's not right. I need to figure out all the details before focusing my energies. All right, just like Rose taught me, focus on three things and three things only. Robert, please stay here. I have to get something done. Don't take long. Thank you.